Hey guys, this is Mike Harris with WorkWithMikeHarris.com and today I'm going to show you how to put anchor tags within a page of your website. So today I'm going to use my free training page to show you how to do this. All it does is, all it does is just help you uh, navigate through or help a visitor navigate through your page. It's a lot easier. Like if you have a lot of content on your page and like it's in one big block, it doesn't look I guess it doesn't look good and it doesn't look um, readable and a person, they may just automatically look over it because it's in one huge block or it's just like one long block down the entire page and they have to just scroll all the way down just to get to certain sections that they may be have been looking for. And when you add anchor tags, it kind of directs them to where they want to go. Like, for example, on my training page, I have trainings, I'm going to scroll down, I have trainings all the way down the page, like this, see, but at the top, it's like a, it's kind of like a menu, I just put, click here to learn what principles you should uh, build your business on, uh, click here to learn how to generate 5 to 10 quality leads per day with Twitter, and uh, click here to learn how to dominate Google with article marketing, like, um, just there's a few examples like that and all they do like when they click on it like if i click on this one right here it takes me to the bottom of the page to where exactly I, that link was and um it's very effective instead of them having to scroll down all the time and i actually added a back to top uh anchor tag right there so they click that and it takes them right back to the top of the page so if you plan on the reason why I added it to my free training page was because I know over time I'm going to add more and more training. So if you plan on adding or having a lot of content on your page, you may, you may need to use anchor tags to make it easier to navigate through. So let me show you how I did this. Let me go to my background. Okay, I'm on my free training page, see? I'm going to always open it up like this. Okay, and then it has everything on there. And what I do is, all I do, you can see it right here. It's like a small little anchor icon. All I do is highlight the words where I want the anchor to be. Like I'll highlight change in mindset training, okay? And then you come up here. It's easier to do in WordPress anyway. So you come up here and you click on this insert edit anchor um button right here and then right here you enter your anchor name like it doesn't have to be long it just has i guess it has to be something like whatever you highlight just pick a word in there that um may match what you highlighted like in this case i picked uh i highlighted change in mindset training so i'll put something like a uh, mindset It's like mindset training, like that, okay? And then I update it. I'm not going to do it right now, but that's what you would do. I update it, okay? And then it creates a, um anchor right here. And on mine, I actually use the words change and mindset. So when I come up here and I have these words right here, click here to learn what principles you should build your business on and i want when when uh the visitor clicks on this link and i want to direct them to that training i would just highlight these words right here okay like that and then you go up to insert a hyperlink so you click on that button and the thing is you don't have to even uh you don't have to put a link in here because like if you go to anchors right here the second one like whatever you put like if you put um the anchor tag in you put the i guess i put change in mindset for mine it'll automatically be in this menu so all you do is select it like this and it'll create this link url say pound change in mindset and then at a target, you keep it 
in the same frame because you're obviously jumping in the same page. So you don't want to, I don't even believe, I don't even know if you can open it a new window. You may be able to, but I never tried it. But for right now, just leave it as you opening in the same frame. So you would click update like that. And that's all you do. Like you'll come back to your page and then you will refresh it. Okay, and then all you would do, like when you a visitor comes to your site and they're reading on your page and it says click here to learn what principles you should build your MLM business on, it'll just click right there. Okay, did I mess it up? Hold on one second. Okay, let me refresh it one more time. Make sure it's properly working. So all you do is click on the link right here and it'll take you to the training. And it's the same for each and every one of them. It'll take me to a Twitter training. If I click right here for this one, it'll take me to identify differing personality training with Cedric Harris. So that's all there is to it. Well, let me show you one more thing that you can add in your page if you have a lot of content on it. Like all you do, like right here, like you add a back to top uh, anchor tag right here. So whenever your visitor clicks it, let me demonstrate. Whenever your visitor clicks it, it'll take them straight back to the top of your page. So if you have a long drawn out page, that's exactly what you want to put in there. So all you do is you go right. No, actually, you go to the top of your page. Okay. And then you insert a tag like right here, like wherever you're at the beginning of your content is. That's where you want to insert your tag. And then you would go to insert anchor. Now you can put something short, like you can put back to top or top. And then you click update. And then from there, type in the words back to top right here you can make them in a smaller font so it's not just um you don't want to make it too big like compared to the rest of your um uh, content on the page so you just put it right here type it right here and then you can actually align it to the right by clicking align right and it'll align the text to the right and then you can go to Insert hyperlink. Then you go to anchors. And you select top. And you just push. You click insert. And then after that you save it. Go ahead and update your page. And then you come back. And you refresh your page. And then you go ahead and make sure it works. You just click back to top. And it'll take you back to the top. So that's all there is to it. I hope this uh, quick tutorial helped you out. Um, take it easy.